Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and Neve will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. All my K-pop. Indeed, listeners, it is all my K-pop time. That means we are joined by the amazing Neve in the studio. Hello, hello. I am back. Again, <laughs> so good to have you with us, buddy, and um, so nice to kick off with um, a beautiful York song that you, yes. that you produced for him. Yes, I mean the song itself. I mean I wrote the song, but like York, on the other hand, he is such a perfectionist. Yeah, I saw him singing on a on a music show because <clears throat> he he did all the music show yeah. run, and I, I was watching him. And I was still awed by like, oh, this is such a amazing feeling. That somebody like yo singing mm. uh, one of my songs yeah. uh, on the stage and people cheer mm. for him. It's it's. I think this is one of the reasons why we live as a as a writer and, and right. producers. So it yeah. is the be- it is, that is probably one of the best feelings you get because as, as a producer, mm. obviously you're not up on stage. Mm-mm. But I think the closest feeling is watching it and seeing a good reaction right. from people. That's really really good feeling, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Really good feeling. Um, he did a fantastic job, of course. Um, shall we get uh, going with today's segment, please? Yes, sir. We will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Sam and I will be analysing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yeah, indeed. And uh, we also need the listeners' participation during this time. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be side tracks that we like by the artist. And uh, for today's K-pop musician, send it a song by them you want to hear. Tell us why uh, you like this artist too. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Of course we will. And uh, don't forget also, me and Neve, we're doing a video message for one very, very lucky listener. Mm. All right. Um, so I'm excited today. Today's <coughs> K-pop musician of the day. Today's K-pop musician is amazing, amazing Vix. Yep. Oh my, they've been around for a long time oh too. Man. Uh, they were formed as a member through uh, the Survivor program uh, Meidel, uh, and it's the boy group that debuted in uh, 2012 when the most idol groups have appeared in the history of Korea. Yes, wow. 2012. Really? Was the year. Oh, I debuted 2012. Oh, so am, I, yes. am I one of those? That is true. Wow. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so it was like a booming era of idols, and uh, it, it has uh, they've established themselves uh, through the red ocean among numerous idol groups since their debut. Uh, they promoted with a unique concept like superhero and game character, uh, rock your body. Uh, since then, they've introduced concepts such as vampire, Jekyll and Hyde, and curse dolls. Uh, Thanks to the team's unique concept, the group has nicknames such as Concept Idol, Horror Idol, Fantasy Idol, etc, etc. And all members are 180 centimeters tall. So that's like almost six feet, right? Wow, yeah. Uh, So they are called Tall Idol. Hot body and models. Uh, all the members have ability to write and compose songs. Since they've been together for a long time, they know how to read each other's hearts. And they're like the real brothers now. They were scattered because of moving to different agencies, individual activities, and military service. Uh, their stage masters, who has gathered for the first time in four years and boasts solid teamwork. And let's check out Vic's music right now. Absolutely, Vix, we're talking about today. Um, right, let me give you a bit of uh, basic info. I mean, we all know the group Vix, they're, they're, they're mega stars, right? Mm-hmm. But um, we've got some info. So, after debuting as a group of six members, um, they're reorganized as four. Uh, but in this album, Leader N or Cha Hagyon couldn't take part in activities. Uh, the group name, it means voice, visual, value in Excelis. Excelsis. Excelsis? Excelsis? Excelsis. Mm. Uh, it means that it's a group with the best voice, visuals, and value. Mm. Now, the fandom name, it is uh, uh, Pyopid Melody, so that's Starlight Melody. Mm. And um, they did such a great job, I think, with their super unique concept, uh, their superior physicality, the height of the members, I think, plays a key role. Um, they're very close to B2B, who debuted at the same time. 
And uh, on December 9th and 10th, they will have a solo concert, uh, Vix Live Fantasia uh, Continuum in Seoul. Mm, nice. New music information, the title song of the fifth mini album, uh, Continuum, uh, released on November 21st, 2023. And the album is about the main theme of continuous, uh, which is uh, translated as yansok uh, or yansok song with various concepts. Uh, it's a medium tempo song with R&B bass that highlight uh, the members' dreamy vocals like Leo, Ken, and Hyuk. Uh, it emphasized masculinity with the choreography using physical techniques. And uh, with the strength and weakness of the choreography, uh, they showed off their sexiness. Another S word of the day. Oh, yes. <laughs> like lyrics of even in distorted memories, we end up attracting each other. Each member's unique charms come together. It's a song that shows Vic's uh, strong identity. Absolutely, listeners. So we're talking about Vix today. I mean, oh, an, an amazing group over mm. the years who have given us so much, so much joy. A, a very mm, different group as well. There's been no group like them. Yes, I mean visually, it's physic. Uh, they're they're amazing in that too. But then, like how they uh, pose their like kind of like concept, like how they bring their theme for the song. It's somewhat I remember them as always being different, yeah, and very creative. Uh, like they used this concept that we can all relate to in in their music. But then they visually showed it in their music video as well. So I think yeah. whenever I think about Vix, it's really not about, not always about music, but it's also about the visuals too. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. It's a group that I've I interviewed here on the show a very long time ago. I'm thinking probably around twenty. 15, 16, something like that, I think. Um, yeah, and um, they have a bit of an aura around them as well. Mm. Actually, um, there's a, <laughs> quite a funny story. Um, my um, A producer that I'm close with spent a lot of time with one of the Vix members, mm. and he said, uh, he said to me he could tell that they were kind of superstars. One reason was because they smell amazing, apparently. <laughs> They smell amazing. A very, like, apparently, it's, it leaves an impression on you. But, like, not just how they look, but they smell amazing. And for him, that was like, it made them more of a superstar. It's interesting. Actually, I mean, I think that makes sense because our experience in, you know, uh, uh, encountering, like, new things actually con contains, you know, sight. You know, how what yeah. you see, what you hear, uh, how you feel and all that. Yeah. But also, scent actually can yeah. uh, distinguish you know, uh, one person's theme. So yeah. I think I can relate to this. So where can I go smell? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Like, so I was like, well, how, how, well, how do I smell them? And yeah, I obviously have to be quite close to smell them. That sounded yeah. kind of wrong. Yeah. A bit, <laughs> so where can I go it, smell? It, it's a bit, it's another S word for a smell. There is another, yeah. another S yeah, word of scent. the day. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, so it's interesting. Um, they really are the king of concepts. They they pull off pretty much everything. Yes, yeah, Matt Thrill just wrote in, Vix are the king of concepts, actually. Yes. Yeah, just the same thing there. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, they are just incredible. Jenga says they did release perfumes for one of their albums. There we go. Um, I do remember um, actually the song, which we're probably going to talk about later on. But mm. yeah, really interesting. Love the new album, by the way. It's mm. it's Vix. It, it sounds like Vix, which I love. Mm. Um, I think maybe we should uh, listen to that and move on, mate. Yes. Mm. This is called Amnesia uh, by Vix. There we go, Amnesia by Vix, a new song. Oh man, as soon as it hits a chorus, I was like, yes, this is Vix. I've always been like, kind of like Vix to me. They had this like unique energy yeah. to their, also like their track too. It's always been in control, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the track uh, were very, very carefully designed. Uh, in a way to deliver their theme. Mm. You know, there would be like a sound choice in the track that 
could be like a storytelling in in lyrics and everything combined it feels like every time i listen to their music it, it feels like i am reading uh like a mini story yeah it's 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 really amazing what they've done actually right. as a group mm. um cool lots of listeners writing in abinai says while listening to this song you feel like you're floating or it takes you to the state when you are hit by amnesia uh brilliant <laughs> by the way samantha old says when i did a high touch with vix they did smell nice so it's confirmed it's confirmed they smell great my my question was so where <laughs> can I? <laughs> yeah. Again, the fact that you're asking twice is even more strange. I yeah, know. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm digging my own. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as soon as the, as soon as the song starts, you know it's a Vic song. Samantha Old writes in as well. Yeah. There's something about them as a group. You just it, it is very very special indeed. Um, good. All right, guys. Well, um, of course we just listened to the new one from Vix. Mm-hmm. We're now going to go back in time, and my goodness me, there are so many great songs that we need to talk about, but. We've got three of them that we're going to kind of, um, I guess, do a little bit of analysis of. So, buddy, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Oh, this is this era of K-pop is so good. Man. I actually do remember this era. I actually remember. I, I'll talk more about this song yeah. uh, as we go on. This is called Voodoo Doll Cha Jun Yang, the title song of the first full-length album. Uh, Voodoo released on November 25th. 2013, uh, Shin Hyuk, a hitmaker composer who wrote the songs like Chinese Dream Girl, Exos Ururong, uh, Grow, and many other hit songs composed the song. Uh, Korea's best lyricist, Kim Ina, wrote lyrics on top of it, and a song with a high-pitched beat and an addictive chorus line describes this song, and the original choreography that expresses the sad fate of the cursed doll, uh, which is symbolic of this performance. Uh, couldn't pass the uh, deliberation of the music programs of the three major broadcasting companies, so they eventually revised it. Uh, and the lyrics are about uh, the sad fate of becoming a cursed doll and making love come true even at the expense of oneself in order to achieve the wrong love of others. Yeah, I'll oh, just. Do you know, even the whole theme of it, only, only this group can do a song like this. Mm. That's what makes it so cool, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, been, it's brilliant. You are going to say something? Yes. I mean, I do remember when the song uh, came out and then when I went to uh, LA actually uh, to work with Shin Hyuk himself, uh, you know, this, this album was like kind of like uh, uh, hanging on the wall. Uh, with, you know how we do like this yeah. like, big CD kind of like case and then put it on uh, on the wall and that was this was the first song uh, that I saw on the wall so the impact was very very strong yeah. and then they were still working on Shani's Dream Girl uh, still working on uh, different group songs so it was such a uh, what a nostalgia <laughs> absolutely absolutely superstar producer of course um, this song I love it because it's got it's got your classic 2013 K-pop feel about it, but then it's kind of it feels like it's twisted a bit to make it more Vix a yes. little bit, right? I mean the the line too, the cor- uh, chorus line is very addictive. Yeah, uh, it's so ah, uh, it's so Vix. I think this song actually uh, set their tone. Absolutely, mm. uh, even the whole story of the song as well yes. is it's brilliant. Mm. Um, right, this is Charlie uh, Young Voodoo Doll. <laughs> There we go, song <laughs> number two. Oh, this is such a legendary intro to a song, man. <laughs> this Love is called uh, Dynamite. Uh, it's the title song of the fifth single, uh, Zellos, uh, released on April 19th, uh, 2016. 
uh, it's bright and easy uh, to copy and it's a funky style song with synth uh, sounds very unique synth sounds too actually and the concept of the um, the god of jealousy is the key point to listen to it uh, when we listen to the song and they won first place on a music program within a week of their comeback with this song and the lyrics are about uh, possessing one uh, even if the whole world turns upside down because of jealousy uh, the lyrics, uh, lyrics of dynamite repeated in the chorus uh, are very addictive oh so that's why the name of the single uh, album is zellos because it, it's caused by jealousy yes absolutely very, very clever absolutely mm. oh dude this this might this might be my favorite mm. because do you know what it's because most songs as somebody who's more on the vocal side i always focus on focus but for this song like the drums are just so good mm. they sound incredible mm. on this song right right which is so important on it um and uh it's it's it's, a, it's quite bright as well which i like about it too mm. compared to other big songs that's true mm. that is true i mean like they also like it's a funky rhythm funky song but then i cannot really describe how but then it's again uh vix kind of like it, it's not the word kind of like vix it. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. Right, but again, it shows, I mean, they can pretty much sing anything, the members. They are just incredible. They cover for each other so perfectly. Very true. And um, yeah, this one, you'll be singing it all day, man. It's called uh, Dynamite. Yeah. Uh. That's This one. Oh, actually, this this might be my favorite. This this is one of my favorite as well. Yeah, this is cool. Ah, oh, this is I think the pinnacle of like how Vix kind of like came up with this like yeah great theme. Yeah. Uh, it's the it's Dongyang, uh, Shangri La. Uh, the title song of the fourth mini album, uh, Shangri La, Dongyang released on May fifteenth, two thousand seventeen. Uh, it hit the top of the real-time charts on various music sites. It starts uh, with a theme of suspenseful synth and colorful uh, kayagun. It's a Korean traditional instrument. It's a fusion R&B song with an impressive uh, introduction and following the God concept of uh, Kurt trilogy in 2016. It is a new song with the concept of oriental fantasy of uh, Murungdoan. Murungdoan is kind of like a legendary, uh, how should I say, the myth, right? Yeah. Uh, a dreamy and drowsy verse and a clear and sensuous melody of the chorus go well with uh, the lyrics that describe the landscape of Shangri-La uh, as if drawing a picture expressing oriental colors. Vic's oriental fantasy is complete with performance using fans expressing the gods enjoying the wind in Murungdoan. Mm. Yeah, oh, this is just, you know what? I think the, the reason why me and Eve might like this song is, I mean, there's so much thought gone into this song. It is true, yes. From everything from the concept to all the musical stuff, it just comes together so perfectly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I, I mean, the intro, introduction of the song, it just like, kind of like gives you that vibe, like, it's super oriental, but then at that time, 2017, not many groups, especially idol groups, tried this concept, but yeah. then, uh, had they ever tried it, it wasn't really completed, but then the concept itself got completed through VIX. Exactly, and what was amazing is, with that sound, they still made it sound super modern. That's the thing. I think it's the synth. That's it crazy, to do it, yeah. Right? It, it is very modern. It's so trendy. good. Yeah. It's, so everything about this, and there's so much detail in this song, which makes it perfect. And again, only, only VIX. Only Vitz can pull off something like this as well, visually too. Right. Um, uh, incredible. Oh, this might be my favorite actually. It's uh, Tuong Gong Shangri La. I 
아름답고 따뜻했고 There we are. Oh, we listened to the whole song. Yes. As well. That's how much we love that one. It. it was worth it. Brilliant. So, uh, <laughs> Tolan Gang Shangri La, we had Dynamite and Chodrin Young, Voodoo Doll, uh, three of uh, Vix's hit songs that we just had a listen to. Nice. Really showed a great evolution, as didn't it? Yes. Well. I mean, and it was also Vix, you know. And, and by the way, guys, today's K pop musician is Vix, sending the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. I think they really. Came through this like evolution era, and when we think that they, they, uh, we are curious about like, is there any space left for evolution, mm. uh, for Vix? Yeah, and they always always break that, uh, you know, limit. They do, and they still do with this like newly uh, came up uh, release. Uh, Always, I think To Wong Kyung too. I think it was that time after Voodoo Doll and, and so many conceptual songs. We were wondering what can they do uh, more? Yeah, can they do more? Yeah, and they were like, kind of like they dropped Shangri La saying, Yes, yeah, man. And we were like, wow. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and well, and all of that. Well, what did you think about To Wong Kyung Shangri La by Vix? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> just it's just they got it right they got it right mm -hmm. I mean it's interesting as well with what I've realised is uh, obviously they shine as a group but I think what makes them shine as a group is is because they also shine individually mm. they're individually they're very strong characters and strong um, everything really vocals visuals uh, each member really has that too and I think that's that makes a super group right there all the greatest groups individually have uh, characters that shine a mm -hmm. lot, right? Mm -hmm. So definitely Vic's one of those groups. Um, good. Um, right, now um, we're moving on. Me and uh, Neve, we chose songs by Vix as well, right? Mm, yes, we did. Mm. And uh, you were going to play yours for us today. Mm -hmm. So I brought this song that was released in 2014. Uh, I believe it was their second mini album that was released in October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nivers, but yes, mm -hmm. uh, I believe 2014. So the album name uh, was Error, and I chose a song called Error, which is the title song of their, uh, their, their album. And one of the reasons why I brought this song is that it has to do with concept as well. So this is the concept about cyborg mm -hmm. oh yeah 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 yeah. i'm sure you remember yes. right do you remember that the music video oh. guys if you haven't uh checked it out please go ahead and check the music video out because that shows how versatile vix can be when it comes to concept so it's about like it's a very sensual uh, a melancholic piano line uh goes on in in the song uh, with sentimental beat it's not it's not aggressive. It's very sentimental song. But then on top of it, you know, uh, it, it's 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 very creative song. But then visually, so it's basically about one person or Vix members, members of Vix, becoming cyborgs. Yeah. Um, and w even though during the process of becoming cyborg. Your your heart still has that warmth in it, and then you still can love uh, that uh, one another. Right, uh, and they're showing that in the music video. It's very very creative, uh, and at the time it, we're talking about 2014. Yeah. Um, I don't think up until now, even like not many idol groups or like any groups. Uh, pull that concept off. I think Vix is the first and the last one. Yeah, uh, in Korea. It's almost like watching a movie, right? Sci-fi right, movie. Right, right, right. And and uh, that's why I, I brought this song. It's very, very, again, Vix. Uh, mm. And I just love the piano line, how it just like 
continues in within the entire song. The the same loop continues, but then each segment of the song is very different with the different synth and different kick patterns. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, share this song with you guys all. Brilliant. Uh, we do have comments coming in as we speak. Jenga says, yes, the music video, I cried at the end. Mm. Uh, Samantha Earl says, Era's music video is awesome. Yes. So looking forward to it. Shall we uh, have a listen, dude? Mm-hmm. This is called Error by Gix. There we go, Era by Vix. Oh, I've got to say, so many people loving this. So Jenga says, I'm trying so hard not to scream at work. D- d- yeah, don't calm down. Calm mm-hmm. down, Jenga. Mm-hmm. Everything is going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, no screaming. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, dude, we have got messages and a yes, lot of them. We, do. we got we got to get going, man. Vix has many fans. All right, shall I go first? Yes, mate. All right, Samantha uh, saying, uh, Good day, Sammy and Neve. I'm so happy that you are talking about Vix today. They debuted on the 24th of May 2012, and it was a bit after uh, that I became a starlight. I have all their albums, and uh, some of them are signed by them. Nice. Uh, oh. When they came to Australia for a concert back in 2017, my daughter and I were, I were there. And of course, I'm going to be a bias and say the concert was fabulous. After the concert, we had high touch with them. Uh, as we walked into the room uh, that Vix was in, the first member was uh, Taegun, uh, who's uh, Leo. Uh, he's my favorite. Uh, I just froze for a second before thanking him for coming. And then there were uh, Hongbin, Sanghyuk, uh, Wonsik, uh, uh, Jaewan, uh, and then Hakyan, and uh, uh, thanks to a friend, I was able to get one of the towels that Taekwon, uh, Taegun had used on stage. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Now, there's only three members for this comeback. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm uh, glad to get uh, new songs from them and to hear their beautiful voices. Take care, sending love, hugs and kisses from Samantha. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Right, straight on to our next one. Tazin says, uh, I was a fan of Vic since their debut, but now I'm just a casual listener. Um, they got first place with Video which made him one of the top groups in K-pop and gained even more fans. Uh, they never started off as the conceptual idols. It took several experimentations to gain that title. Era by Vix will always be my favourite because it has sad piano lines, which is unfortunately no longer in trend since the fourth generation of K-pop. But I hope no one forgets about Superhero as it's their cute concept debut song. We're going way back, but yes, indeed, Tazin. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Abinaya saying hello everyone have a new day Vic's new song title Amnesia is so relatable even uh, today while exercising I forgot the set that I was doing uh, and wondered whether it's my second or third set <laughs> and end up doing two extra sets like 120 repetitions <laughs> that's good for you uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know much about Vix, but I have heard some of Robbie's songs uh, thank you for reading my message Sam and Neve. Thank Good. you. All right. Uh, Jenga writes in. Okay, here we go, Jenga. Um, right, I'm at work, so I can't rant as much as I would love to, but I love my Concept Kings, especially with their looks and concepts of Voodoo Doll, Chained Up. Oh, I love that oh, song. Chained Up, yes. Yeah. Hide, Error, uh, Shangri-La, and uh, Girl's Wife featuring uh, Oh, That Was Amazing too. Rock Your Body, On and On, and Eternally, also iconic. Uh, the three God albums, uh, Zelos, Hades, and Kratos, also super cool trilogy concept. The LR subunit was amazing to Leo with those high notes uh, but one underrated amazing song I'd love to hear is My Valentine interesting alright mm, nice alright Slava saying hello beautiful people it's, uh, so for today I was listening to Vix and googling some background knowledge as I've heard uh, never heard any of their songs before and I found this uh, two of their songs are included as main theme song in the two upcoming TV shows first is Voodoo Doll we can hear it in the in the off a trailer of the Semtastic dancing show starring uh, talented dancer and performer Sam Carter. What? What? It says Samtastic. I, <laughs> I was like laughing because I was thinking of you as Samtastic. <laughs> did I, I perform? Oh, I, I am going to perform this. You are. Is that is that what Slava's saying? Trim, I mean, that, I think... definitely no. <laughs> I mean, definitely, definitely no is the answer. There will be secret uh, vote of saying yes. No, I'm not no, going to say no. who's going to say yes to that. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll read out your uh, recommendations. Chained up. Love it. Uh, 
Mm, and uh, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Chained up. I think I'm just reading Chained Up. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, it's it is one of the most perfect big songs. It is. It's so it good. Is. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Right. Uh, very quickly, uh, Benny writes in. Um, so, um, I guess a lot of us OG listeners following Vix will definitely love the songs. I also wanted to recommend for today. So here are some. Um, 오늘부터 내 여자, Love Came True, Superhero, Rock Your Body, 저주 인형, Voodoo Doll, uh, 태어나줘서 고마워, Thank You For Being Born. That is one of the biggest birthday songs, actually. Mm. That's a good one. Uh, love, La La La, 기적, Eternity, 여자는 왜, with 옥상 달빛, Error, Hot Enough, uh, 향 Scentist, that's the, the smell one. Mm. Smell. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I like it. Yeah. My Valentine, Tu Wang Young Shangri La, Romance and Gun Nata, Romance is Over, Nabi Hokwa, Butterfly Effect, Teda Nata No, Great You, Ah, oh, that's a good one as well, yeah. Mm. Uh, Dynamite, uh, Iber Kung Shik, Love Equation. Uh, enjoy the various tracks, add to your playlist. Have a great Tuesday. Thank you, Benny. All mm, right. Nice. All right. Last one from Wendy saying hello, hello. When Vix debuted, we were surprised because it's pronounced the same as the. Um, Medicine for colds. <laughs> anyway, my go-to songs when it comes to Vix are Cold at Night, Error. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, They hit you with wave of emotion. I like to dramatically lip sync to these songs also. Uh, thank you for uh, being born. It's a lovely birthday song that I'll probably make you melt and tear up uh, a little bit. With that, I wish you all a sweet day. Thank you, Wendy. Wonderful. Thank you very much, guys, for your messages. Now, um, obviously, um, we've got one last song we're going to play, and this yes. is my pick that yes. I chose. Mm. So I'm going back. Oh, let me let me check the year this is this came out in. Mm. So my song is called uh, Love Me Do, mm-hmm. track number two on the uh, Hades album. Mm-hmm. So the title was Fantasy, if you remember. Mm-hmm. Um, Love Me Do. And actually... Um, High five. Samantha Rolls says, Love Me Do is another song I like of Vix. So, uh, mm. very cool. Revive together. Exactly. The reason I've gone for this is, I feel like I haven't heard this sort of genre in a while because it's deep house, but I feel like it's deep, deep, deep house. Mm. It's really deep house. I mean, the theme is like Hades, which is, uh, I believe, uh, the Greek, is it Greek um, uh, myth? Yeah, right. Uh, hell, I think. Zeus and, yeah, and yeah, Hades. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Hades yeah. is like in charge of like the hell. Exactly. Yes. So, so Deep House. Deep House is, is perfect for it. Mm-hmm. And it's like one of the most S's, S's songs from Vix I've heard. Sexy. Very. So that's the last song. Um, dude, next week, we've run out of time. Next <laughs> we week, oh, we're talking no. about somebody incredible. Yes. Uh, this I um, I believe this is like our all-time favorite. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about Taeyeon. Oh. Next week, yes. What wait. can we say? Uh, it's going to be need two hours. Mm. We need two hours next week, mm-hmm. uh, dude. Have a wonderful week. That's all we got time for today. You too, Sam. Guys, days are getting colder and colder every day. I don't know which country you guys are in, uh, but you know, please take care of your health because uh, that's the most important thing that you guys can take care of. Absolutely, guys. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see Neve next week. This is Super K-Pop. I'm your host, Sam Carter. The last song we're going to play, it's uh, My Choice and Vix, Love Me Do, and we'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page. <laughs>